Hello everyone and welcome to Mass for this, this Thursday. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that uh, all throughout the month of May, we'll be having adoration on Friday. Um, we'll take it week by week, but plan on every Friday having some form of adoration, whether it's uh, on video, whether it's in person. Um, uh, but uh, tomorrow for adoration, we'll try to do it outside at Sacred Heart. Uh, so I, I would ask that if you would like to participate in this adoration, to, to drive in your car, to stay in your car, and I'll have the Blessed Sacrament ex exposed uh, on top of the steps leading into the front of church. So I would ask that, I would ask that you stay in your car and, and park, park uh, facing towards the church, park facing towards the church. So it's, it's a different way of parking than, than you're used to. But park facing towards the church, I'll expose at 5 o'clock tomorrow, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And we'll go for an hour from 5 to 6. And for all those who show up, uh, you're more than welcome to stay until 6 o'clock for the, the blessing. Uh, but uh, plan on something every week. I'm not sure what that'll look like. I'm just trying to work through this. But uh, this tomorrow, uh, plan on adoration at 5 p.m. here at Sacred Heart. For opening song for Mass today, let us join in singing number 182, Jesus is Risen, number 182. Jesus is risen, let us sing praise to the ever-living King. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise him in song, ye seraphim. Praise him with joy, ye cherubim. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. On this most holy day of days, let us together sing his praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Raise joyful voices to the sky. Sing out ye heavens in reply. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and my sisters, as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our own sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy, and may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when, by your gift, we have known it more fully, so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, Get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, that is, the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit said to Philip, Go and join up with that chariot. Philip 
ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, Do you understand what you are reading? He replied, How can I, unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter. And as a lamb before its shear is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his prosperity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is that prophet saying this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth, and beginning with this scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Astos, and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples, loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls, and has not let our feet slip. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appeal to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God who refused me not, my prayers or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sends me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that the one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A lot of us skip meals at time. Sometimes we get too busy or we don't think about it, and, and before we know it, it's, it's the evening. It happens to me quite regularly. But sometimes when these things happen, sometimes when we skip meals, we feel stress on our brain and our body. We may have felt fatigued in these moments, moody or lightheaded. And scientists tell us that 
prolonged fasting over several days is not, not very wise, and it can cause both short and long-term health problems. In fact, nutritionalists have published you know, a plethora of books uh, to help us maintain a, a healthy and balanced diet. Well, in the same way that nutritionists, nu nutritionists they're concerned with our physical health, Jesus is concerned with our spiritual health. That is why he came to give us himself as this living bread. And in addition to speaking about the gift of the Eucharist, the image of the bread of life also speaks about God revealing himself to us. When the Israelites were trekking through the desert towards this promised land, God gave them manna to feed them. But that manna, it sustained only their physical bodies not their spirits. In today's gospel, Jesus tells us that God the Father sent him as a kind of food that surpasses this manna that we've heard about. Jesus came to feed our spirits and to make a way for us to enter into heaven. He made it possible for us to live with this, with this Father forever. And he promises that all who eat of him, all who embrace his revelation, will be raised up to eternal life. And the good, the good news is that in the Eucharist, Jesus gives us this food of eternal life, here and now. We don't have to wait until we die to live forever. We can begin to experience this grace of heaven, surrendering our lives to the Lord when we eat his body and drink his blood. Every time we ponder this, these words in the scriptures, and the teaching of the church, we can experience him filling our hunger and satisfying our thirst. So today, let us be like Philip. Let us be like, like the Lord, who, who always sought to draw people to themselves, to Christ, to the, to the Father of Heaven, to this living bread that can truly heal us and sustain us in all trials that we experience. Coming before the Lord in need of this, this bread from heaven, knowing that Christ will give it to us, we humbly ask him to hear our prayers. We pray for the church, that it may always seek to draw people closer to Christ. We pray to the Lord, the Lord hear our prayer. We pray for our Pope Francis, for all of our bishops, especially Bishop Michael, all those who are in charge of the leadership of the church. We pray that their spirits may be strengthened and that all the decisions they, they have to make may be led by the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are feeling isolated or alone or anxious because of this pandemic. We pray that, we pray that their, their fears and their anxieties may be turned into joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all those uh, on the front lines of this pandemic, all those who, who, uh, who are necessary to maintain our safety and the fabric of society. We pray that the Lord may enter into their hearts and into their lives and give them this bread and give them this eternal life. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of the parishioners who are parishes, that they may be strengthened and helped by the Lord. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died, that they may, that they may be raised up with Christ into this heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, you give us yourself in the breaking of the bread. Help us always to experience this in our lives, that as we are separated from receiving you, we may always receive it in our hearts. We ask all of these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
and Michael our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And a prayer of spiritual communion. Precious Jesus, although I greatly desire it, at this moment I am unable to receive you in the most holy Eucharist. Therefore I beseech you, O Lord, to bestow upon me mystically all those graces I would otherwise receive. Fill me up until I am overflowing, so that I may in turn share those graces with the rest of the world. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, O Lord, we pray, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. And as we go forth, let us again sing number 182, Jesus is risen. We'll sing verse 3 of number 182. To God the Father let us sing, to God the Son our risen King. Alleluia, alleluia. And equally let us adore the Holy Spirit evermore. Alleluia, 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 alleluia.